No. That's how we're starting off this video. No, it's not happening. Before we get into the idea, there's a reason this video is titled Let's talk about the Jack Eichel trade rumors to the Boston Bruins, and not Boston Bruins are trying to go after Eichel, or they're going to try to make a trade for Eichel. That's not what we're talking about here. Or at least, let's talk a little bit about the idea after we get into this little introductory thing. The reason I've been sitting on this and I haven't made a video about it before, even though it's a very, very hot topic. If you search up Eichel Bruins on Twitter, you can find tweets coming in every single hour of people just talking about the Boston Bruins and Jack Eichel. Well, why exactly is this happening? Because there were two articles, and I'm going to say two articles because... Each of them kind of framed this idea in a different way. The first article was uploaded on June 19th, 2020 by Joe Haggerty on NBC Sports Boston. The title of this article is, Could the Buffalo Sabres Dumpster Fire Turn Into a Jack Eichel Opportunity for the Boston Bruins? It asks the question, could the Sabre situation turned into a Boston Bruins trade opportunity. And it goes through in the article how the Buffalo Sabres have been bad. It talks about their dumpster fire. It talks about how their mismanagement of players has led to certain figures on the team, like Jack Eichel, getting upset. And then the article changes its tone when it says, if you're the Boston Bruins, now might be the best opportunity you'd ever have to bring the Kemsford-born Eichel to Boston. Then it goes over the Bruins, it says why it would be great, it says what a potential trade offer could look like if they wanted to do it, and that's okay. This is a speculative article that takes a look at Joe Haggerty's opinion, and it presents it in a written format that says, hey, if they wanted to do this, this is how they would do it, and this is why it would be great. That's okay. It's an editorial, it's an opinion piece. But... Two days later, on June 21st, there was an article uploaded onto TradeRumors.me titled this, Blockbuster Rumor, Boston Bruins to make offer for Jack Eichel. Now, what do you think when you read that? When you read that title, what do you think? You think, oh, oh my gosh, they're going to do it. Blockbuster Rumor, the Boston Bruins to make offer for Jack Eichel. Then you read the first paragraph, which is something that a lot of people in this day and age don't really do. It says, oh, when the beat writer or an insider for a hockey team starts contemplating ideas, it's because they are as close to anyone to the team. And they can see a potential fit. This one happens to be as intriguing as ever as Boston Bruins insider Joe Haggerty suggested that the Bruins should go after Jack Eichel. It even says in the first paragraph, this guy says that the Bruins should do it but they title it as if they are already going to do so. This is a problem because some people who take a look at articles like this that pop up on their Twitter feed, because this one article from NHLTradeRumors.me is showing up everywhere on Twitter. People are linking it because the title just says straight up that they're going to make an offer. And when people click on this kind of article, they scroll down. They don't usually read the first paragraph, which is what we talked about, saying that, oh, this insider Joe Haggerty is suggesting, and this is what his suggestion is. Most people see the second paragraph. The offer would include a handful of young assets, including former first-rounder Michigan center John Beecher, Jake DeBrusque, Brandon Carlo, and at least two high draft picks. And people look at that and they go, oh my goodness, it's going to be Beecher, DeBrusque, Carlo, and two firsts. That's going to be so good. Like, come on, man. Like, at least, at least title your things in the proper context. And that is something that I feel that I'm doing appropriately here in this video. The title is Let's Talk About the Trade Rumors, not Boston Bruins are going to do it. The Bruins are going to make a trade offer for Jack Eichel. That's not what I'm saying here because that's not what the writer is implying. So anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the idea that Joe Haggerty is presenting in his NBC Sports article. Jack Eichel being in a position of unfortunate circumstances with the team that he has played on for five years. This could be an opportunity for the Boston Bruins to go out there and try to trade for him. Just for reference, because of what I talked about before, we're not going to use the NHL Trade Rumors.me article at all for this video. I will link it in the description just so you can know what I was talking about in the previous point. But we're going over to that NBCSports.com article talking about Jack Eichel and Boston. 
The article starts off by talking about the Sabres, and it goes over a brief history as to how exactly things are turning out in Buffalo. The idea of a Jack Eichel trade is introduced, and that's how we start off the Boston Bruins talk. The Bruins already have on their roster one of Eichel's teammates from his Boston University days in Charlestown native Matt Gritzlick, and one of his US NDTP teammates in Anders Bjork. And the Bruins have already made a concerted effort in recent years to load up on local talent with Gritzlick, Charlie Coyle, and Chris Wagner, among others. So there would be some familiar Boston accents in the B's dressing room to make Eichel feel at home. That paragraph right there is pretty much the only real new idea that I think is being presented to the table here, because the rest of this little section just talks about the same things that we've been talking about for the past few days, that Eichel wants to win, he's on a team that is not winning, and as a result, that's led to frustration. The article uses the Eichel quotes that we've gone over in the past, and it says that the Bruins, although they do have stars, and although they do have Boston guys, they don't have any Boston guys who happen to be stars. Stars. Pasternak? No, that guy's from Europe. Marsha? No, that guy's from Canada. None of these guys on the team who are stars are local talents, so bringing in a local talent would be really, really nice. And I guess so. Wouldn't it be nice if every good NHL player played for their home team? That would produce some really interesting results. The article then goes over its own proposals as to what it could take to get an Eichel. Certainly, the Bruins would need to pull off some seismic moves to accommodate a move for Eichel. It then says the same stuff that we talked about in the previous article, but it also suggests that Charlie McAvoy or Brandon Carlo could be interswapped with that kind of discussion. And the Bruins would also need to find a taker for David Krejci and the final year of his $7.25 million contract, which could offset much of the $10 million per season that Eichel will be making for the next six seasons. Given his youth, his upward trajectory, and the salary cap space the Bruins will have when Krejci is gone, an opportunity like Eichel would be, you know, it's good. Yeah, pretty much it's good. And here's the best part. At the very end of the article, he says, Hey man, this isn't something that would happen anytime soon, as the Bruins are focused this summer on returning to play. And it's something that isn't likely to happen at all, given the sheer magnitude of the move. But wouldn't it be great if this week's Buffalo Sabres massacre somehow turned into a door opening for Eichel to come home to Boston? So yeah, none of you who read that other article, please don't go around saying that the Bruins are going to make a trade offer. That's not going to happen. The guy straight up says it's not going to happen, but then there's this other article that says, oh, they're going to do it, and like it's getting other people misled. That really upsets me, just seeing the whole clickbaity not really presenting information in the way that it should be presented online, because you're really just feeding off of the attention span of random people who are looking for hockey news. But... Regarding the trade idea itself, it's something that if you wanted to balance it out, obviously Eichel is a superstar player, one of the best centers in this league, and he's going to be like that for the next 10 years pretty much. He could have arguably gotten so many more points and a much better results stats-wise if he played on any other team than the Buffalo Sabres. So the value of this guy is immense. That's why a big package like DeBrusque, a big package with Beecher and two firsts, and either McAvoy or Carlo would definitely need to be up there. If I'm Buffalo, I'm saying, no, I don't want Carlo. Give me McAvoy. Give me the best that you got. Because when you have star players playing on other teams that don't have star players, those star players are much more valuable to that bad team than they would be to the good team. Buffalo isn't just trading away a Jack Eichel, no. They're trading away the best player their franchise has seen in the past, what, decade? Ryan Miller was really good, but I'd say Eichel is probably a little bit more valuable. Decade, decade and a half probably. And Eichel going over to Boston, he wouldn't be the best player on their team in a decade. He'd be like either top two or top three maybe even. So the Boston Bruins perspective of Jack Eichel is just a guy who would probably be second or third best on their team. The Buffalo Sabres perspective of him is a top player in the world and one of their best ever. So obviously the Buffalo Sabres are going to need to pry and pry and pry for more if they want to get an offer that they would be okay with doing. On the outside, as a hockey fan looking in, I see McAvoy, two firsts, DeBrusque and Beecher and I say, man, I don't even know if that's enough. So. Who knows, maybe you throw in another really good prospect there. It's unfortunate because the Bruins draft history isn't really all too great. They do have John Beecher, but that's pretty much it. Aside from the other guys who already graduated onto the team, their prospect pool isn't really the best in my opinion. So 
like most people are saying, and like the article on NBC Sports actually says, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't think this is going to ever come close to happening, nor do I believe that we're even on the horizon of thinking about it. So, to those of you who have read that article from NHLTradeRumors.me and thought, oh my goodness, they're actually going to do it, this video says, no, they're not going to do it. Even the writer of the first article says they're not going to do it. And don't read and listen to everything that you see online. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think about Eichel, the Bruins, etc. Such as Trost 99. And bye.